Happy birthday, Peppa. Once upon a time, it was nearly Peppa's birthday, and she was on the telephone to Susie Sheep. I'm going to have a party, and Daddy is doing a magic show. Peppa told Susie excitedly. I hope you don't mind, Daddy, Mummy Pig whispered. I promised Peppa. Ho, ho, not at all, Daddy Pig replied. Of course the amazing Mysterio will make a special appearance. George was excited too. He loved parties and magic shows. Peppa wanted to start planning her party straight away. She asked Mummy Pig if she could invite all of her friends. Yes, Mummy Pig said, and George can invite some too. But George's friends are little, Peppa said. Mummy Pig told Peppa that she could teach George's friends all the party games. Oh yes, I'm very good at that, agreed Peppa. Soon it was Peppa's birthday. It was very early in the morning, but Peppa was already wide awake. Wake up, it's my birthday, Peppa shouted. Bouncing on Mummy and Daddy's pig's bed. What time is it? asked Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig checked. It was five o'clock in the morning. At seven o'clock, everyone was dressed and ready for breakfast. Okay, let's get your birthday started, Mummy Pig said. George passed Peppa her birthday present. Happy birthday, Peppa, Mummy and Daddy Pig said together. Snort, snort, said George. Peppa tore off the pretty paper excitedly. It was a pink polka dot dress for Teddy. Thank you, everyone, she cried. Ding dong, Peppa's friends had arrived. Happy birthday, Peppa, shouted Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Emily Elephant, and Pedro Pony. George's little friends were there too. Squeak, Trumpet, Nay Nay, said Richard Rabbit, Edmund Elephant, and Zuzu and Zaza Zebra. Peppa explained how to play musical statues to George and his friends. You have to dance when the music is playing, and when it stops, freeze like a statue. Click, Danny Dog pressed play on the stereo, but no one moved. You've got to dance, Peppa called. The little children started to dance. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes. Click! Danny Dog turned off the stereo. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza froze. You're moving, George, Peppa said. You're out. Wah! George cried very loudly. One by one, all of George's friends were out except... For Zaza. Zaza is the winner. Emily Elephant announced. Here's your medal, she added, looping the red ribbon around the little zebra's neck. It's made of real plastic gold, Candy Cat said. Wah! cried George, Richard, Edmund and Zuzu. They wanted medals too. Daddy Pig hurried in to cheer everyone up with a magic show. Peppa, whispered Daddy Pig, remember to introduce me as the amazing Mysterio. Mr. 
ladies and gentlemen, it's Magic Daddy, said Peppa. Hooray! The audience cheered and clapped. Magic Daddy took off his top hat and waved a hand over it, ready to perform his first trick. Ta-da! Teddy appeared from Magic Daddy's hat. The children clapped again. For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience, said Magic Daddy. Everyone put up their hand. Magic Daddy chose Susie Sheep. Okay, Susie, here are three coloured balls, he said, turning his back and closing his eyes. You have to secretly choose one while I'm not looking. Susie picked up the red ball. Abracadabra, Magic Daddy said. You chose yellow, Magic Daddy guessed. No, said Susie Sheep. Magic Daddy guessed again. You chose blue. No, Susie Sheep said. Magic Daddy had one more guess. You chose red. Yes, Susie Sheep said. Hooray! The children cheered and clapped. Peppa wasn't sure Magic Daddy should have said all three colours, but she clapped anyway. Next, Magic Daddy turned off the lights. Close your eyes, no peeping. Now, say the magic word. Abracadabra, the children cried. Open your eyes, cried Magic Daddy, turning the lights back on. The children opened their eyes. Oh, they gasped. Mummy Pig was holding a delicious looking cake with four candles on it. My banana birthday cake, cried Peppa. Blow the candles out, Peppa. Mummy Pig said. And don't forget to make a wish, Daddy Pig added. Peppa squeezed her eyes shut and wished very hard. Then whoosh, she blew them all out at once. Hooray, cheered her friends. Happy birthday, Peppa, Susie Sheep asked her what she'd wished but Peppa wouldn't tell. She really wanted her birthday wish to come true and finally announced Magic Daddy. I have one last trick to amaze you with. Abracadabra! He pulled a present from his top hat and handed it to Peppa. Peppa squealed tearing off the paper and opening the box. Inside was a beautiful pair of yellow willies. Right, boots on, everyone, Mummy Pig called. All the children ran to the hall to put on their willies. What's happening? Peppa asked. Why has everyone bought their boots? Peppa, George, and their friends followed Mummy Pig out into the garden. Peppa was so excited, she couldn't stop skipping. Daddy Pig and George quickly picked up two buckets and poured water all over the grass. Surprise! Everyone shouted. Happy birthday, Peppa! Puddles! Hooray! Peppa yelled leaping in and jumping up and down. My birthday wish came true. Come on, everyone. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, George, George's friends and Peppa's friends all jumped in. Everyone loves jumping in muddy puddles. This is the best birthday ever, shouted Peppa, snort 